Our next stop, Laurel Mountain, West Virginia. You know, this green earth provides many energy resources. Harnessing and storing that energy, like what's being done here, is really the secret to making it all more sustainable. So let's take a look at how the right mix of integrated energy solutions is promising a greener future for us all. Every country needs reliable, sustainable sources of power to survive and thrive. But in many places, the 100-year-old power grids remain unchanged. Now, new technologies and lower prices are bringing unprecedented and exciting changes that are shifting how energy is generated and how people use it. The future is very exciting because not only are we leaders in new technologies such as energy storage and combining it uh, with renewables, but we're also leaders in using drones. Uh, we're leaders in digital applications. Uh, so all, all these are ways of making energy use more efficient and easier for people. Every country must seize the opportunity to secure its own energy future. Countries like the Dominican Republic, where expensive diesel has been the predominant fuel source. A partnership with energy company AES has helped change that. The Dominican Republic is now not only more affordably meeting its energy needs in a more environmentally sustainable way, but it's also taking the role as a leader in the region. Definitivamente que el, que el país ha sido privilegiado por más de una década porque era el único país que tenía una terminal de For gas. more than one decade, we have had natural gas terminal that has also helped us mitigate fuel price increases in times in which it would have been economically unsustainable. Por más de 10 años, We've had energy supplied by AES from its terminal. In difficult times, thanks to God, we overcame. Combustibles cuando se dispararon precios y eran prácticamente insostenibles económicamente como fuente de generación eléctrica. The country of Panama also worked with AES to diversify its energy mix by introducing an LNG terminal and the country's first natural gas power generation plant. Our mission is to improve people's lives by providing safer and greener energy. So in the case of Panama, you had a situation where the country was very reliant on heavy fuel oil and diesel, which is both expensive and polluting, uh, whenever there was a drought, because they have a lot of hydropower. So we saw the opportunity to bring in LNG from the US, which is abundant and cheap and at a stable price. So now Panama will have much more reliable energy at a much lower and constant cost than in the past. So it really allows that country and its people to consume electricity in a safer, greener, and more sustainable way. Panama and the Dominican Republic are only two of 15 countries directly served by this global power company, headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. With its diverse mix of energy generation sources and utilities around the globe, AES is committed to finding the right solutions to meet each customer's changing power needs. In AES, we do all kinds of power other than nuclear. So what we're striving for is, again, a safer and cleaner energy future. So we're able to make combinations of existing power with renewable power, renewable with batteries, to bring the cleanest and cheapest energy solution to a country. AES is also noted for being a groundbreaking leader in firm renewables through energy storage. Here at the AES facility on Laurel Mountain in West Virginia, wind turbines generate renewable energy. And all that energy can be stored for future use here at its massive battery facility located at its base. Well, this is the first time somebody combined wind energy with energy storage. And it's also participating in the biggest electricity market in the world, which is the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland market. So this really was a, a proof of the importance of energy storage in being able to integrate more renewables into the electricity grid. We have almost 100 megawatts of wind energy. We have 61 1.5 megawatt turbines. And to our right here, we have uh, 16 containers, each containing two megawatts of energy storage. So this is enough uh, capacity to uh, supply energy to 24,000 people. 
Energy storage is so crucial for incorporating renewable energy into electric grids worldwide that in 2018, AES launched its joint venture with Siemens to form an energy powerhouse called Fluence, offering energy storage solutions in batteries in more than 160 countries. Fluence has the largest energy storage fleet in the world. Today we have over 700 megawatts deployed or in active deployment. The Laurel Mountain project is an example of a mid-sized project. We have projects uh, at the commercial industrial scale that are much smaller, solving problems at uh, commercial industrial uh, clients. We also have projects as large as 100 megawatt by four hour duration, so 400 megawatt hour, solving really big problems at the utility scale. So fundamentally, through the incorporation of storage into a renewable energy project, we're able to take what would otherwise be an intermittent and renewable energy source and convert it into a dispatchable and deliverable energy source that our customers can rely on and they can plan for. Energy storage is the holy grail of the renewables business. Over the last decade, we've brought uh, electricity to two and a half million people between Brazil and El Salvador. We've brought safe and modern electricity to dozens of countries around the world. So our mission remains the same. Now we have new tools to accomplish that mission. You know, energy is essential to every global citizen's quality of life. By constantly finding new ways to generate and store energy, we're also ensuring a brighter future for all of us. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.